Hi, everyone. Welcome to the May 2019 edition of Farsight's Time Cross Project. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Courtney Brown, director of the Farsight Institute. Now, we at the Farsight Institute have a great show for you today. Bashar the Extraterrestrial. For a great many years, Daryl Anka has been channeling Bashar. Now, I have listened to many of Daryl Anka's channeling sessions over the years, and I have always been impressed and sometimes amazed at the level of wisdom that comes out of those sessions. But I never really knew if it was real or fake. Perhaps Daryl is just a good actor who says smart stuff. I had no idea until now. We finally had the chance to send in three of the world's most highly trained remote viewers to see what this was all about. About Daryl Anka and about Bashar. All under totally blind conditions. And we found out a lot. A lot more than we bargained for. The short story is that it is real. All of it. Daryl Anka, Bashar, the ET, the channeling, everything. Wait until you see these sessions. What I will show you in just a moment will knock your socks off. Never before seen stuff, never before known stuff, right here, right now. Also, for those of you who subscribe to our YouTube channel, Farsight Press, YouTube now requires people to also click on a notifications bell that appears to the right of the subscribe button only after someone has clicked on the subscribe button. Just clicking on the subscribe button doesn't do much. It is not much different from, say, a like. So if you are following our activities and YouTube publications, please go back and click on the notifications bell so that YouTube can send you an email when we publish a new video. So if you are subscribing for the first time, first click on the subscribe button and then you will see the notifications bell. And then click on that bell. And thanks for following our activities. Now an update on our recent and upcoming activities. We just released our latest major mysteries project, the secret Apollo moon missions. It is spellbinding to learn why they went there and what all the secrecy was about. And I hope you get a chance to watch it. When you watch our premium mysteries projects, you help us at Farsight do our work. Without you helping us along the way, we would not exist. And I want to thank you for your support. Also, we recently released both parts one and two of Farsight's 9-11 project for free on YouTube. If you have not yet watched those, now is a good time. Finally, we are going to release part one of our remote viewing documentary on the assassination of John F. Kennedy for free on YouTube on May 15th, 2019, in just about two weeks. On June 15th, we will release part two. Now, part one focuses on the shooters and part two, the organizers. We feel that this is an appropriate time to release both Farsight's 9-11 and JFK projects for free on YouTube. This will cost us a lot since it costs us a great deal of money and a huge amount of time and effort to make those remote viewing documentaries, and we are not planning on monetizing them on YouTube. Those of you who purchased either or both of those projects will still have access to them on your Vimeo account, as always. Again, I want to thank you for supporting us over the years. Also, remember that no one can use remote viewing to claim something is 100% correct without first obtaining corroborating physical evidence. But that is what remote viewing is all about. Remote viewing data can help guide the search and interpretation of physical evidence. So, raising questions is really what remote viewing is all about. And it is with the intent of raising questions of all sorts that we think many people may find Farsight's 9-11 and JFK data interesting, perhaps even useful. Both projects were done under totally blind conditions with really great remote viewers. If you have not yet seen them, put a date on your calendar and get to it. And now onto this month's time cross, Bashar, channeled by Daryl Anka. According to Mr. Anka's website, it all started with two very close encounters with a UFO. That seemed to trigger a desire within Daryl Anka to explore a whole bunch of new ideas which led him to take classes on how to channel. He has been channeling Bashar formally since 1983, and there now exists a huge library of recorded sessions where Bashar's personality comes through and talks to a human audience. Now, Understand that neither I nor anyone at Farsight have any connection to Daryl Anka or Bashar, financial or otherwise. I have only met Daryl Anka on two occasions at conferences, and in both instances we merely traded brief greetings, hello and goodbye stuff. Also, 
We here at Farsight do remote viewing, not channeling. But we can go places and investigate stuff and, well, that is what we did. All under totally blind conditions and with really great and highly trained remote viewers. And starting with Princess Janae, then Kamaya Dunson, and then Melina Hall, this is what we found out. Trust me, hold on to your seats. Five, four, one, two, six, five, six, seven. My basic thoughts here are structures and subjects. I seem to have one or two very important subjects here. Um, I'm in a building that's in an urban area. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting flashes of being in two places almost at the same time. Um, one place, one place is very uh, in one place is a structure um, with a focused gathering. Uh, there's a, a main structure with a focused gathering, kind of brick. Um, in my other place, I, it's kind of like a dreamland, very beautiful, mountains, uh, water, land, kind of outside, pasture-like hills here. Um, I can't see far into the second place. There's also a, I'm also sensing like a third, a th third place with uniformed military or CIA people. So this place is very organized and it feels kind of like the dreamland actually. It's not, it looks like that. It's not like a dull type of place. It looks like that, but the people there are kind of uniformed or military or CIA like. Um, for my, my second pass through this, my basic thoughts are still subjects and structures. Uh, I have an initial, I have an initial main subject. He's male, rather tall. Um, he's not fat, but not skinny. Kind of average build man. Um, he seems very well known. He feels kind of like a journalist or a reporter. Very, very talkative. Uh, he seems secluded, though kind of like a, He seems almost prisoned, like a prisoner, or, or something rather as well. It's the, the two different dynamics that I'm feeling, but he has his very, very fair skin. Um, there are multiple subjects nearby. They're all out there um, nearby, focus gathering. Uh, the, it seems to be like an auditorium, gymnasium type of feel to it. Uh, reminds me of like, it puts me in a feel of of like a uh, election or show something where someone has to speak to people and get their attention about something and it kind of feels like that uh, there's like I said an auditorium a stage like uh, chairs chairs just in rows and columns here uh, the main subject again he, he kind of has a upbeat type personality but he also seems very closed off barred secluded um like cuffed i'm not saying that he's in handcuffs or anything but that feeling of being chained and and stuck it, it, it kind of plays around with those two type of emotions in his mind um i w he seems like a very, very decent person. I would not feel odd meeting this person. I'm going to do a deep mind probe uh, to see more of who he is. His, his, his mind operates in like a pattern or like a like someone with autism 
OCD, ADHD, the way that we have our patterns in our mind, it's like he operates, it's very strict regimen, it's very strict pattern, it's very blocked out. Um, either, either that or he has a super high IQ. Um, he's not bipolar or schizophrenic, he does not seem crazy, he just seems, his mind just seems to be running and organizing and moving and like, like the way you would see someone with OCD or ADHD or even autism um, approach things mentally. Um, I've actually been in some of those positions and, and met people that way. It's, it's the oddest feeling. Um, I have obsessive compulsive disorder myself, so I, it feels kind of like his brain is compartmentalizing things here. Um, he's again. He, he's not bipolar or schizophrenic, but he does seem to have some sort of disorder in a sense. Um, in this setting, his mind, again, it just moves in sequence. Um, he's not a bad person. He seems rather misunderstood. He, uh, I can't tell if he's teaching or preaching. If he is, con he's conducting some type of. He, he's giving a speech of some sort, I can't tell the dynamics of it, but it seems passionate and soul-driven and important, something like a teacher or a preacher would do. Um, he's not afraid, but he, he's shifting back and forth. He's, he's moving, he's, he's fidgety, he's like, like twiddling, twiddling thumbs here. Guy has like 4.0 or higher. <laughs> GPA type of person, passed all his classes, but he also seems like a baby in his mind. So he's got these two different dynamics. Um, he's got two different dynamics blending and battling and mixing within his mind and body. He's this super high intelligence, and then he needs the nurturing of a mama, a woman. Uh, he's like a baby, like you need to, to mind him and comfort him. And he needs to be not told what to do, but God, it's, this is the oddest dynamic. He has, he has memories of, of like, memories of life in the past as though it was all three seconds ago just playing in his head like a movie. He can just see these pictures. So it's like, like, I don't know if it's all of his life or if he's seeing something else, other life, I can't really tell, but he's got these multiple memories that are definitely not of right now playing and moving through his mind like a movie and he's re-seeing it and over and over again kind of like if you remember your movie or if you remember something that happened to you when you were a child but you can only remember bits and pieces um he's seeing every little detail of every little moment of these memories uh, he gets disoriented sometimes. It's almost like he's fighting between knowing what time period he's in, if he's here or if he's there, which timeline he's in. It's like multiple timelines, different timelines. I this feels so weird saying. Uh, like he, he, he's so disoriented, but he can crack the toughest codes, the toughest problems. He can, he can like, like imagine the smartest scientist and mathematician and historian in the world put into one mind, into one body in it. And, but he's, ah, uh, uh, he seems, he seems, like again, he seems very great with math and science and numbers, uh, numbers and letters, they just play over and over in his head and his mind, just like a sequence. It's, computer, like coding, but more, it's so, 
It's so vivid. His ah. Uh. This guy's this guy's just super super smart. Um, I'm sensing something in this guy's mind, so I'm gonna try to go in deeper. Uh, I want to see what he's seeing, not not just feeling or thinking. It's, it's so dynamic. Um, I want to. I'm going to just go through his mind and tunnel through and see where I can, where I come out. I, I, I want to come out on the other side of what where he is and what he sees. I want to see through his eyes. It's very, very bright here. I think I'm outside. Um, I'm in the dreamland, and there's someone else here with me, him, with us. Um, the feminine is a very feminine energy, maybe a woman. Um, I'm not quite sure yet that there's so many dynamics into who this woman is or being is. Very fair skin, rosy cheeks, slim build, dark, very dark hair, almost long, dark, long, sleek, sleek hair, um, and beautifully androgynous, like, There's a, there's a serious connection with the first subject and in this subject here. Um, I'm feeling dis, a little disturbed and confused. Um, I'm calling my first subject my high, my IQ guy. Um, Cause it's got a, dude's brain is just impeccable. Um, so it, coming through through him, my, my IQ guy, I, I feel, disturbed and confused uh, for now i'll call the second subject a she until i can get a better feel of her uh, she feels very i guess because she feels very comforting uh nurturing um like a mother like it's his mother or girlfriend i don't maybe not even girlfriend but feels like a mom motherly open and he call she calms his mind in such a way because his mind is going in a million ways, but she, she it's like in a million different sections here, but she almost calms it. The high IQ man, um, my subject A, There's so much going on. I, there, there's so much going on. I feel like I'm I'm losing. Ah. My my subject egg guy. He's very fidgety, and I feel like I'm him. I'm in. He's very um fidgety and confused and it's all over. Uh, dis brain or disoriented and uh and um. She, she, she says she calms, she calms. She just calm. This is so weird. She calms uh, him, the or me. I, I feel like I am him. Uh, the environment, the environment here again is just very bright with foliage. Uh, I see a lot of. I'm seeing a lot of nearby subjects around us right now where my second subject is my woman, my feminine energy, where she is. Um, there are a lot of subjects nearby. I, s I smell lime. Um, 
smells dry but s s smooth and warm and like not flowers maybe lime like 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 a whole bunch of fruit in a bowl and pineapple you know how that that sweet smell it's just very sweet aroma here but they they all are fair skin slim features very casual clothing but with a unique uniformed look to it uh very fresh clean people um they have a different scent to them both male and female uh but it is it, it is hard to tell with the male female i'm gonna i want to go I want to go deep into the mind of subject B, into my feminine energy. There's a very softness to this subject. Um, do they know I'm here? She knows that I'm here. Uh, the subject is letting walls down. I can't tell if you're a man or a woman. Letting walls down. I'm being, it, it feels almost like I'm, I'm being probed too. Like she's jumping into, like she's, <laughs> she's doing a deep mind probe on me to see who I am as well. We're both kind of switching places. Almost like this subject is remote viewing me while I, her. And she's making, uh, as her, in this mind, I'm very calm. In this mind, I'm, I'm very calm. Uh, I wanna, I don't, I wanna call this subject a male, but it feels very feminine and woman-like and nurturing and soft. Uh, softness, comfort, peace. There's a peacefulness to him. Like heaven or like, like heaven or a safe place. Um, he smiles, she smiles, they smile, um, but does not communicate with words. Um, just Just energy. Can you, do you know that I am here? I wanna. Touch, touches my shoulder to let me know that he sees me, that, 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 that we're both in the same place, there's pressure, there's pressure on my shoulder. Will you talk, can you talk to me? Who are you? This, uh, he says, I am, I'm everything and nothing. Consciousness. Are you human? He's, <laughs> they say, I'm not, I'm not human, but neither are you. Why are you here? He won't answer that one. Please don't block me out. Are you here to, con are you here to, please? Okay. Well, how are you connected to the IQ man? Uh, 
I'm in, he says, I'm, I'm in his mind. I'm his intelligence in body form, communication. He's communication and intelligence in the body form. Uh, this subject feels, again, both feminine and masculine, but he or she is not completely human. Thank you. <laughs> uh, very polite, not completely human. Um, it's like he or she is a channeler, like he channeled through me, but I, but allowed me to have, I had control because I was an their brain, in their mind, they weren't in mind, which gave me control over it. They let their wall down. I do not get an alien vibe from this at all. It's, I don't feel like this is an alien it's, um, from this person or the surrounding subjects. They're non-binary. Uh, they're not he or she. That's what he's saying. We're non-binary, not he or she, like normal humans. The subject has soft, again, gentle, comforting energy. This is very overwhelming my head hearts. I feel, I feel like I have multiple people in my brain. This is too much. Feel, uh, this is very, very overwhelming. It's a lot. It's a lot of information just uh, all at once. My heart is racing. <sighs> Today we will be exploring target six eight seven six eight four one one. My basic gestalts here are structures and subjects. Okay, I've got an urban environment here um, with natural components as well. And there's subjects here, and they seem to be inside this one main large structure. Okay, I've got this main subject here that seems to be fair-skinned um, and has like a masculine energy so it's like a male subject here and i've also got level topography but there's some mountains in the background and then i also hear like rhythm or um, some sort of pulsing sound and I see a lot of foliage. Okay, I've got subjects in the structure, male and female subjects here. Seems to be one male subject that's just um, sitting down at a table or something, and then um, a couple other subjects surrounding him. So I've got this main subject here, um, our male subject, and then I've got some other subjects that just seem to be in the same room as him. Okay. Focusing on this main subject, okay, he's definitely a male, and he's like um, a little heavy set. He's got a little weight on him. It looks like he's in just like this really dark, you know, secluded room. Um, like, kind of reminds me of like a prison room. 
uh, and he looks like he's sitting here and he's either being questioned or um, interrogated. Energy just feels a little off inside this room, I guess. So, focusing on this main subject, um, I have a lot of feelings of like, like anxiety or something. It just it really it feels like something's a little strange or off about the energy around him. Um, it's, he just feels like he's very overwhelmed. He feels like, yeah, he just feels very you know, overwhelmed, anxious, and like a little nervous to me. Um, or like, like he's scared of something or nervous to be around these people. I'm not really sure. I can feel his heart beats very fast. And he's breathing really heavy, heavy breaths, fast heartbeat. Just feels like he's anxious, like something is unsettling him. There's just a lot of mixed emotions around this subject here. It's hard to decipher exactly what's going on. And I hear many voices. I hear more than one voice. Like, I feel like I feel every, every emotion that you can feel. It's just like anxiety and nervousness, but it also feels like something else is there that feels more like, you know, in charge or um, angry. Uh, it just feels like he's feeling every emotion under the sun. <laughs> so this main subject, again, he's got on like some thick clothing and he's got really broad shoulders. He's just, he looks like a, a big man. <laughs> um, like strong and big. And his mind is so chaotic. It feels like he's um, everywhere all at once. It feels like he's being pulled every and which way. Um, I'm getting this feeling that my subject feels like he's alone or that, you know, like he's alone in this world, like he can't relate to anybody. Like he's really just alone, but he's, you know, surrounded by people. It's okay. All I can, all I can really feel is this heaviness in my stomach. It feels like Things are being bottled up. Things are being kept inside. It feels like, like everything's about to come exploding out of this person. And I feel just a, a wave of sadness. It feels like my subject is being broken. It feels like he's, experience, he's experiencing things that I can't decipher.
It just feels like... There's... It feels like there's... It's not just him talking or thinking. It feels like I'm thinking and hearing multiple people, or, you know, things talk. It's just too much going on. Okay, so I'm going to try to get a better look of, you know, what's around him and all that jazz. Okay, so the outside is just, I've just got this large structure again out here and on flat land with irregular topography. So y'all can see that. Main structure. And I got foliage. Out here. And okay, just a, a lot of cloud dynamics as well as just um, windy, a lot of windy sounds and just very natural surroundings outside. Winds. Now I'm going to focus on this main subject. He's in a room, and it's pretty dim in here. Um, and there's tables, chairs in here. Um, and it feels very stuffy in here as well. And I can just hear someone talking. Um, you know, overall this room kind of, this room's kind of creeping me out. This room feels like it's like cold and creepy. It's dark. It's quiet. Um, very quiet. I hear just someone that sounds like they're rambling on in the background. And I just feel all of his emotions. It feels like he's rambling on in his mind. Um, I feel just like, I feel like, I feel like I just can't feel, I feel like I can't figure out how I feel. Okay, overall, I just, I personally feel very anxious and I feel very distraught. Um, it just feels like too much is going on. I'm gonna deep mind probe this subject. This guy. Okay, it feels like there's two, it feels like there's two different things like talking or here. It feels like there's like a, a, a darkness and a lightness around this main guy. So it kind of feels like, again, like his mind is all over the place when I'm 
inside, it feels like I'm inside a tornado and I'm just kind of being whipped around everywhere. Um, it's like there's like some sort of dark haze that's clouding him, his judgment and his mind, but also like a, a white haze. It kind of is like a, you know, like the angel and the devil that sit on your shoulders. It's kind of like that, like he's got that, but in his head. I feel nervous, I feel overwhelmed, I feel scared, I feel strong though. It feels like there's just two polar opposites, like it feels like for the, the, the sad parts there's also like a, 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 a happy part and for the, the weak parts there's a strong part and it feels like they're all kind of mixed and mushed together here. Um, it really just feels like my subject is like schizophrenic in a sense, like he's got more than one voice in his head talking to him and he's feeling all these emotions and he doesn't know how to feel because he feels everything. It, it's like he's having a mental breakdown almost is what it feels like. I feel like there's this, this like scared child in him, but then it also feels like there's this protective mother in him as well. It feels like a mix of feminine and masculine energy um, around him. It... <sighs> My head is full of all this pressure and this air. I feel like I'm in the middle of this man's mind. Like I can't, con I can't control how I feel. I, I <clears throat> again, it just feels like there's a, it feels like there's a dominant energy and a submissive energy inside this giant <laughs> tornado storm inside this man's head. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump into this tornado, okay? And I'm gonna just go through. And it's just dark. And then there's light. <laughs> and I see another subject. And This subject feels very feminine, um, kind of like a, a mother. It feels like a, a mother figure. Um, and she feels very dominant. She feels like, it feels like, you know, like, she has what's best, what's the word I'm thinking? She has this man's best interest at heart. That's how it feels. It feels like, I'm just in this white room with this single feminine subject that almost feels like home to my main subject. And she's quiet. And she's very soft-spoken. Um, I feel this pull towards her. I feel like I kind of feel sorry. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I 
kind of looks like, again, like I'm looking through this tunnel and I just see her in this white, bright halo around it. Okay, so, you know, again, it's just, I see this subject surrounded by this dark tornado that I keep feeling. And then at the very end of this tornado, you know, I've got this white light with this single subject in it. Okay, this particular subject feels very warm and she feels, um, like she feels, <laughs> she feels very protective and she feels like some sort of concern towards my main subject. I'm getting these vibes like she will, you know, do whatever she needs to do to make sure that this man is safe. Um, like, she feels so protective to me that she would do anything, anything to keep this man safe. She kind of reminds me of a new mom. She, so, you know, new moms are like, you know, like, don't touch my baby, that's my baby. Uh, I know what's best, you don't know anything, I'm the mom, that's really like the, the vibe that I'm getting from this woman here. This feminine energy here. Okay, since I'm already in the mind of this being, um, I, I want to know if they can perceive me. Um, the energy is so strong here, and it kind of feels like I'm battling to get, you know, clarity. Okay. Do you know that I'm here? Yes. Are you human? No. What's... Okay, I get these feelings that kind of, you know, they're starting to creep me out. I don't know if, if they think that, you know, I'm here for a bad reason, but she's kind of creeping me, or, you know, they, they're kind of creeping me out. Um, so, <laughs> why do I feel afraid of you? Because I don't understand. I don't understand. What the hell don't I understand? Okay. Um, what's happening here? I feel really calm now. Actually, I no longer feel afraid of her. I feel that warmthness again. Warmness. Can you be a little more clear about what's happening? Here, here to watch over this subject. Okay, so she's here to keep our main subject safe. Feels like this energy is like pulling away from me. Feels like I, I can't really feel it anymore. I'm starting to feel um, that feeling of anxiety again. I'm starting to feel that feeling that I can't really decipher what's going on. And, and, and it feels like I'm inside this tornado again. 
it feels like now I'm just kind of dealing with the mind of my main subject, so I don't, I think this other energy is left. Okay, yeah, I mean, overall I just feel all these mixed emotions again. I feel this and this. Um, I feel this, but it feels like they're fading in and out. Um, and I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. And this whole thing's giving me a headache, so. That's all I have for Target. Six eight seven six eight four one one. Today I will be exploring Target zero one six one one four one six. I have this outside structure here, surrounding other structures, level topography. Very wide, tall structure. I'm getting an urban area, man made smells. Feels like a town. I'm getting a town feeling. There's subjects here, outside. Mainly, I'm getting subjects inside this structure. A lot of noises, a lot of noises. A busy area. Kind of like a city area. There's also foliage between structures, so it has that small town feel but it's a lot of noises, so it's giving me a more of city like. So inside structure, I'm seeing a lot of furniture, like seats. Lots of man-made smells, um, lots of also like natural smells. There's subjects that are seated here. So here I have the inside of the structure. I have seats on both sides of the room inside the structure. There's a wide space. Um, the walls are very hard and it have that stone texture on the wall and very hard. Um, the inside of the structure has a very dark tone, um, not much of a light setting, but there's lights here. Um, there's a stage in front and a podium right here. There's a lot of subjects. The subjects are, they seem like they're in their late 20s, early 30s, and a few are majority old. Um, they're dressed up in like casual slash business attire, kind of calm, like a uniform, but some are in um, more business dress. Um, subjects, majority of them wear hats. They have like this vintage style where hats are allowed inside the, um, inside the area. Like they have that businessman or whatever look. And there are a few subjects on stage behind the main subject here. Um, which is a male, I have a male subject here. He's a bit nervous because he moves a lot and he shakes sometimes, but he, he gets bold when it comes to something he's very interested in because he has 
a loud speak, like, you know, he has a loud voice when he speaks. Um, his size, his size, uh, he's pretty tall, not too big, not too small, just an average height. Um, and his weight is, you know, he's not as fitted. He's just an older guy. So, so moving on deeper inside his mind and just the sense and the feel of the subject, I'm getting actually fresh type of feel from him. Um, he's very nice. He has a unique style when he does his speeches. Um, he's very blunt when he talks and he just seemed to actually want to know, like, why do others, you know, just this, just that. He's just a very talking person. Um, he acts like a Gemini. <laughs> For crying out loud, he's so different. Like, he's mixture emotions. Like, he's two people. I don't understand it. He just has a way with words. And his confidence is up, but... The feel of him is very, like, nervous. Like, he feel like something is after him or he knows something. And then in the in the room is, is like, something is, like, about to happen. It, he's startling almost. Um, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like whatever he's saying is, almost like a last word or a last note or a last message. I don't know. It's, it feels very like warm inside for me, but I don't know. It's scary type of feel. I don't know. I just want to go through his mind. Like I'm going to go through his mind. So here I got the second subject. Around the second subject or even the second subject itself, I'm hearing a lot of moaning and seeing a lot of flashing lights. Like, like the waking up when you wake up from a nap type of moan. Like, like you can finally breathe type moan. I don't know. Um, the second subject I'm getting... Um, I'm get, I'm feeling like it's a female because the 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 feminine energy I got from the second subject um very magical, very different, very unique, very passionate like far as the the power around this subject um um I'm getting like an old feel this subject um So for this subject, just have that beauty outside. I don't know, the subject is quite something. Um, but it's like, it's fragile, but then again, it's not like the, what I'm seeing with this subject and feeling. Like it's, it's a strong, it feels strong, but yet, so fragile how the energy is with the subject. The subject doesn't seem like it's from the area I was in before. The subject feels like it's from a non-city environment, far away, somewhere near, not even a farm, just far. I'm getting like nice high grass, like feels of a a garden maybe, just the smell of nature everywhere around this subject. Um, nice, nice, pretty land, extensive land. Um, um, just 
beautiful, um, like the sun is out type of vibe. It's it's very warming and welcoming to just be here. And I, I can sense the subject. I wonder if she or he or it noticed me. I'm going to try to ask a question towards the subject. Um, just, I just want to know, um, I think she can feel me. So, cause I'm feeling, I'm feeling her, him, this thing. I'm feeling the, I'm feeling where she is. Like I'm, I can see everything. Um, hi, hello. Yes, I, I do. Um, the subject asked me, do I like being here? Am I comfortable? Am I okay? I'm actually good. I feel love here. Feels like I met mother of nature here. It's like I met her, him. Wow. I felt a beautiful, a beautiful spirit in me. And it blossomed away. It's kind of like it shut me out. It's kind of like it wasn't for me, but it was at the moment. And that was the feel I got from meeting and seeing the subject. It was like light. If it, it, it felt like 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 uh, you, you know, like when the sun sets, that type of light, that type of of mood around this subject. Um, the overall feeling I got from the start of where I was and the end. It's very two different feelings. Um, like I said, I felt like I was somewhere where I normally in this in this day or on earth where I normally normally feel like at the beginning because I I got the feel of the whole area, um, the structures, everything seems and looks familiar. It seems like I, I've been there. Um, the inside of that structure, the whole intense, chaotic, loud voices and people talking uh, and mixed emotions everywhere. Um, that was very different for me. Um, and it was a shock to see in and feel the main subject and the whole vibrant of him just changed and it snapped. Like everything just went away. If it's it's kind of sad and it hurts. But once this other unique creature, whatever I seen which, like I said, have that um, old, like, mother uh, feel, like, but it wasn't a female. It just had the look or the sense of it. But once I got to that point, I knew it was... It was some angel, or like I was in heaven for a second. It was lights. It was, it was flowers. It was beautiful. And I would like to go back. <laughs> no, I would love to stay there. I would love to go back. And that's all I have for this Target zero one six one. One four one six. It is interesting to note 
that all of our viewers had difficulty determining if Bashar is male or female. He or she seems to have both female and male energy, and it was possible for our viewers to identify with either or both of those energies. My assumption is that this is a characteristic of that species. Humans are quite polarized, male and female, and it would not be surprising if some other species are not so polarized. So to wrap it up, from my perspective, since we do remote viewing here at Farsight, I find these data to be highly persuasive. I know how these data were collected, I know the quality of these remote viewers, and so I, personally, have finally put aside any doubt that I may have had regarding whether or not Bashar is a real thing. For me, Bashar is an extraterrestrial with a very interesting personality who is communicating with Daryl Anka. For those of you who have never seen or heard Bashar as channeled by Daryl Anka, you can find out more from his website, which we have linked in the description area below this video. Again, Daryl Anka is not connected with Farsight in any way, and we have no financial interest in promoting him or his activities. So, with that disclaimer said, you may want to check out some of his channeling presentations with Bashar. If you ever wished you could listen to a real extraterrestrial talk about all types of subjects, well, according to our data, apparently you can. Well, that's it for this month's edition of Time Cross. Thank you so much for watching. Also, I hope you get a chance to watch all of our other Time Cross episodes, which you can find on our website. Also, be sure to watch our recent full-length mysteries project, The Secret Apollo Moon Missions. Also, Moses Beyond Exodus, The War in Heaven, and also Tunguska Complexity, Remote Viewing Area 51, The Roswell UFO Crash, The Investigations into the 9-11 Events, The Assassinations of John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King, The Psychology of Adolf Hitler, and Some Amazing Explorations into UFOs and Extraterrestrial Life. As always, all Farsight remote viewing work is done by highly trained remote viewers working solo under totally blind conditions, with no communication between any of the remote viewers. So Farsight projects are nothing short of amazing. And there is nothing like it anywhere else. And remember that when you watch our Mysteries projects, you are helping us at Farsight do our work, including the funding for our Time Cross project, which we offer free to the public, but which costs us a few thousand dollars to do each month. We have no other significant sources of income to pay the bills, so you really help when you follow and watch our activities and research. Without you watching our projects, we would not exist. Finally, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Farsight Press, to keep up with the latest. And after you click on the subscribe button, please click on the notifications bell that appears after you subscribe. Otherwise, the subscribe button doesn't do much. You can find information about all of our present and past activities on our website. Also, on our website, please sign up for our free email newsletter, where we announce all of our major projects. It is actually best to do both things, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to sign up for our free email newsletter to be sure you hear about our new releases. We never send out spam, just announcements of new releases, so it is worth it to keep tuned. Stay ahead of the curve. Let the mainstream fade in the dust. Be there now.